Totally. And, and maybe for our, our listeners, because again, all sorts of backgrounds tuning in uh, to this podcast, could you explain a little bit about how these models work? I know there's a variety of methods, but it, but it can be seen as a bit of a black box. What goes in and what comes out? <laughs> What happens in between? <clears throat> I should probably have practiced uh, more how to, how to explain the count model in 45 seconds. But essentially, um, maybe the easiest way to describe it is um, if you imagine that, let's just take in, in North America, has hurricanes. So there are small ones and there are big ones. And there are wide ones and there are shallow ones. And the ones that produce lots of rain, the ones that produce less rain. So these models characterize those in a more scientific way. So you get a distribution of all of those elements. And you might want to run those 30, 40,000 times because you need a reasonable sample, much more than history, right? History is too short. So these, these are, there are simulated events in these models. They, 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 they have to have to run across the exposure and you get out some sort of expected loss. So that's sort of what they do. But I'm simplifying your process. You can get, there's, they are so com there's so much complexity in these models and they're so sensitive to all sorts of parameters. That's why they're hard to use. And that's why they're hard to understand because there's so much mm -hmm. in there. Is there any current work, and you can decide how much you can ex uh, disclose or not, but current work that's like models in progress that are being built on Oasis that like really excite you? It's not out yet, but you know there are people working on X that you're going, this is a really interesting area if they build this, if they can get this to work and build this out. Um, I think probably the answer to that is there is one, and I just happened to be having a conversation about it this afternoon. So we've got a, a ransomware model that we're looking at. So part of the cyber risk sort of profile, series of profiles. And that's really interesting just because it's a bit different. And it's also interesting because I think <clears throat> despite the fact that we all know that cyber is a big threat, there are probably quite a few modeling firms out there who have taken uh, uh, maybe a simplistic approach to a very complex issue. And when working with somebody that is really into the detail, really know their stuff, and they think they can get a highly credible within the uncertainty bounds that we all know there should be there, model that's going to be on Oasis. So that's my current favorite because it's different and it's new and I had a meeting this afternoon. Yeah, very interesting.